this is a HOC a model T705 705 um, refractor focal length is uh, 1000 and diameter of the objective is 77 millimeter is one of the earliest uh, Takahashi's the company who built it was the same as Takahashi the sign on it is this and uh, it doesn't have any mount or tube ring or if it has I don't like to use it so I've invented this way actually to use it I will use a, a material which is soft then I will attach a dovetail a Wixon style dovetail with this cable ties this is 54 by 8 millimeter and uh, we will see how it will do under um, sky t tripod okay why well, i'm not attaching uh, with the tube ring okay tube rings uh, first you have to buy it when you buy it then you must buy also a dovetail dovetails come in variety of things there is no standard practically so you may get a screw that doesn't work or the screw comes with this doesn't go with your uh, <laughs> any of your tube rings so what is the best choice cable tie it doesn't need anything look all these uh, screws coming from this and the other ones so practically you avoid all that hassle and problem of expenditure by just doing something uh, you know nice and easy at the same time if it is a uh, like this one is a, a classic vintage refractor so you want to be re able to restore it to this original so you just cut this cable tie and that's it is released until then if you want to you can just use them as a you know modern telescope on a vixen dov uh, dovetail okay this is my vixen dovetail and this width i want to cut from this material we use it for you know lining the chairs to make them look soft beside the sponge you can use it on top of the sponge you can you can get it from the diy shops i got it from somewhere like a charity shop very cheap Okay, I now wrapped it around this uh, telescope tube and I'm now going to use the cable tie to tighten it up. Okay, I've now uh, attached it it's nicely and snug holds it. That's really beautiful. Firmer than any screw that you can do. With the screws you always see some play and you have to tighten it up, tighten it up and that just damages the tube eventually. <laughs> it goes into it. So with this, you're just protected completely and is I can tell you that this is completely flat uh, is a little bit lower here because this is holding it higher a little bit so there is a gap here because of that slope is created I don't cut the ends of it because it helps me to actually tighten it if I want I have experience sometimes they you know by the temperature change they may just go a little bit loose the cable tie so you can just tighten it up I think this is made uh, the uh, telescope which is uh, from a def different era um, relevant again to be able to use it let's go and see how it is these are two uh, three inch uh, refractors there's a classic uh, as they call it Japanese style refractors uh, they're quite uh, long have a long long focal length with the f numbers of 13 and 17 i think and uh, both of them are very good quality top notch and the first one is prince optics astronomical telescope model 660 diameter of the objective 76.2 millimeter 76.2 millimeter and focal length with 1250 i think it makes it f17 And that is Circle K, Kenko for a bit. This is the second telescope. Um, this has this shape of the lens cap. And uh, it appears this is one of the earliest uh, Takahashi's made by the Takahashi, the company that became Takahashi. And the one with the, um, without the lens cap, with the longer focal length, is actually doesn't have a lens cap. and. Uh, I don't know how it was, but uh, I will build later something for it. 
both of them have a um, finder scope. This one's quite a small. This is massive. It's like almost like a telescope itself. So let's just go and see. What I've done is just this one. I'm using the Scobo Chair 72 ED um, Vixen dovetail and uh, tube rings. And for this one, I've just uh, used this cable tie and a Scobo Chair. 30 centimeter Vixen dovetail. I prefer this one to this one. With this one, I couldn't really have a good grip because the screw is here and it just blocks the uh, clamp catch there. So I may eventually remove this and just put it back on the 72 AD and uh, use something like that for this one. What I've used is this material that you use for. Uh, in the chairs and this is a 54 uh, centimeter cable tie perfect solid and I'm putting them on the Sky T2 uh, altosimuth mouth and I will be testing them with that uh, street light which is between the two telescopes okay because this uh, uh, clamp for the solar screen was on the way I could not actually with the use of this uh, um, star diagonal bring it to focus so I just deleted this is called diagonal and I'm looking directly straight through let's just see how it looks like now let us uh, view through this 26 millimeter Celestron eyepiece is a plus hole And that was the image through this eyepiece. The eyepiece is a Celestron 26 mm plus hole, one and a quarter inch, it has multi coated. I'm using the same eyepiece on the other telescope without the star diagonal again. Now let's look through this uh, telescope and see with the same eyepiece how it looks, the image. And this is the image. And this was the image through this uh, telescope uh, with a, a smaller F ratio. Wow, I didn't expect it, that, that sharp image. That is amazing. I didn't expect it, that at all. 